I'm a land and I'm having so much fun, 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 fun. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Ellery here. Today's video is all about the lips. I'm going to be reviewing these Maybelline Python metallic lip kits. Um, I just got these the other day in a PR package and they looked pretty interesting. I want to give them a try and see if they turn out like how they look on the box because they look really cool on the box. So we're about to see if I can do what they did. They sent me eight different lip art designs so I'm going to try all eight even though one of them came broken. We still gonna work with that, we gonna work it out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna get into each one and show you the, the box so you can see what we're going for and uh, see if we can accomplish it. Alrighty, this one is number five, Passionate. Here's what the kit looks like. This is the lipstick right here and this is the shadow that we're gonna place over it to give it a metallic feel. It does not come with a mirror or lip brush so you have to supply those on your own. I'm still unpacking my house so I don't have my normal lip brush right now so we're just gonna use my eyebrow brush. As long as it's flat and synthetic, it should be good. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? a fan of this one per se not because I don't like the color I think the color is really pretty actually it's like a brick red but the eyeshadow does not really show on top of it enough for me the colors are too similar and uh, the metallic is is not coming through you know so if you like the red lipstick but you don't like the shadow all these are like multi-purposeful because you can use them for the lip kit or you can use the other side for eyeshadow but this one pretty red but as far as it being a metallic kit um not really in the picture her metallic -y part looks like it was way more silver than I got out of it but you know it could be lighting or you know whatever the next one I'm going to try is called piercing so this one should have a better contrast because it's like a black lipstick and a silver shadow so you're probably gonna get more metallic out of this one she has like the darkness on the outside and the metallic is more towards the center of the lips so that's what we're gonna try to replicate even though it's upside down there we go you got your black lippy over here and your metallic over here Okay, this one is obviously way more metallic than the last one just because the black to silver ratio is like more differentiated. Um, I do think the silver could be a tad more silver. Like it's kind of like a smoky silver, but I feel like, like, you know, silver like this, you know, like sterling silver or something. The sterling silver is kind of turning yellow. But yeah, I think you can definitely rock this lip, you know? I mean, it could be everyday look if you're goth or something like that, or you're going like to a um, swingers party. Maybe if you're, you know, going to a, a heavy metal concert, Halloween, or if you just like black lipstick. I mean, some people like black lipstick on a regular. Not an everyday look for me, but I really do like it. It's kind of like, especially with this blonde wig, it's kind of giving me like dominatrix sides, you know? This next one is called Venomous, and it is this deep navy blue lip color and kind of a green duochrome metallic shadow. Okay, this one is super fun. Definitely getting mermaid vibes. And it has a way more of the metallic factor than actually like the last two I've done. Um, I feel like this is like mermaid, space girl, um, futuristic vibes I'm exuding right now. I will say now I'm gonna start using the brush because using my finger, like the lipstick wants to come off on the finger. And then when you swirl it back in the shadow it's not getting the true color of the shadow just because there's like the lipstick sticking to it so I use the brush to really make it 
pop and make the, the shadow shine through more. But you can really use either or if you want to keep wiping off your finger or just use a brush to dust on um, the shadow to give it more of the pop factor. Uh, I'm finding that either or works just as well. Now let's move on to the next one. This next one looks fun. It's called Wild, a little pink and gold action. Here is the little kit and let's see how it looks. It definitely looks a lot better on the box, but then again, I didn't really take my time with it because I'm not taking any up close shots. So it really wasn't necessary to spend like hella time trying to make it look exactly like the box. This is definitely one that, I don't know, maybe you take the picture and take it off. Or, you know, if you're dressing up like maybe Barbie or something like, I don't know, uh, festival-y. And you don't have to apply it like the box. Like you can always like do it uh, the metallic on the outside or just the inside and that gives you more wear out of it. The pink color was really kind of difficult to work with. Uh, I guess maybe on my lips because my lips are darker. It was hard to get the color to apply evenly because it's like a thinner type of formula. It's not really, you know, like a true matte. And uh, I had to layer it up really good and like be gentle with the brush in certain areas in order for it to apply as even as possible, which was almost impossible. But I mean, it's fun. Like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Ouch. This next one is called Valiant. And this is how she looks. Let's see how she applies. Okay, this one's giving me like galaxy vibes. Honestly, with all these kits, I'm liking the shadows more so than the actual lip colors. Like, I need them to put all of these metallic shadows in a palette because I would definitely rock this shadow on my eyes. Mm, not so much on the lips. It's fun. I know there's a lot of people, I like fun lipsticks, I like lip art, but um, I usually just do it for tutorial purposes. I probably wouldn't wear this like in public just because it's too, uh, flashy for moi. This is actually a really pretty purple too to wear alone. So, um, not too shabby. Let's keep it moving. Nah. This one is called Provoked. And this is also the one that broke. So I can't really show you the kit. It's kind of mushy. These colors look really similar as well. So not really sure how this is gonna look, but we're about to see. too bad um it's a little light for my taste so if i were to wear it again i would definitely use a liner to kind of deepen and define uh my lip shape a little bit more because i don't really like to go this light with my lipstick uh but it is a really pretty color and the metallic shadow is really subtle but it still gives it like a little um even though it's very similar in color i feel like it turns up the lipstick up a notch like if you really wanted to go for like you know, from day, a little daytime mauve look to a little nighttime shimmer, shushy look. Uh, I like this pair together and I like them separate as well. I just, you know, would deepen it up a little bit, a little ombre action like in the corners or something to really bring out my lip shape. So I'm not looking so tragic, tragic. But um, other than that, it's kind of, she's kind of cute, a little bit. Next. This next one is called Snake Bite, and here's what she looks like. That metallic gold is fire. I mean, it's 
pretty on the box. It's pretty on the box. On the lips, it kind of looks like I kissed a poison ivy plant. Listen, I'm all for a fun lip, but it gets a little tricky when you start to use like green colors. You know, green is the color of fungus. Plus, you know, you gotta take it for what it is. Art on the box is done by most of the time professionals and it, it has a lot of retouching and editing. So I don't know why I thought I was gonna be looking like these these little box pictures because I'm not. Um, but what I will say is that this green color by itself and this gold color by itself, bomb. I would definitely wear these again, like separate, like not together, like eyes and lips separate, because these colors are really pretty. This might be one of my favorites, separate, not together. They can't be together for me. And finally, the last one is called Untamed and looks like this. I have a good feeling about this one. Let's see how it does. Okay, okay, save the best for last, I see. I really like this one together and apart. Like we could be together or we could be apart, it doesn't matter. You know, all the others, it's like, oh, it's okay together, but I would like it separate. This one, this one I like it together too. I mean, does it look like the picture? I think the consensus is that none of these have looked like the picture. Whoever edited these are bomb, like. They did a good job. But, um, I mean, you always need like a black lipstick in your stash. Like for some reason, like once a year, I put on black lipstick for some type of occasion. I don't know what usually the occasion is for, but you always, you know, need a black lipstick handy. And um, who doesn't need gold eyeshadow? So this is another one that I think I would use both colors in. You know, when you want to go out and you want a really dark, like seductive lip, you just pop a little of this eyeshadow over it and it just like makes it look a little bit more like mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so those are all the colors guys as you can see there are some that are like Nyeh. and there were some that were actually really cute so it kind of just depends on your style I don't mind a dark lip and it just so happens my favorites were a uh, snake bite and this one I have one right now which is called untamed I like these because I like them um, separately like a lot a lot like I like the way they applied separately um, I love this green shade I love this gold shade I love the black you know you need black and then I love the gold like I like these two collectively um, as far as the other ones um, some of them like the pink and which other one there was one more that I had to like layer on because some of them they come on like not 100% opaque until you like lacquer it on and then when you rub your lips together it might come off in certain areas so you kind of have to apply it um, meticulously which I don't know if that is necessarily something that you'd want to do especially if you're wearing it out because that means anytime you touch something or rub your lips together or anything like that it may mess up the color a little bit but um there are none of them that I absolutely hate because I feel like you can use all of these shadow colors so it just kind of depends on your color choice because even if you don't like the combo together like I said a bajillion times you can wear it separate so those are the pros of the cons to me if you guys want to know where you guys can purchase these I'll leave the um a link somewhere in the caption I'm sure let me know in the comments which ones are you guys' favorite if you had a favorite let me know what it is in the comments like I said this one is probably my first fave actually these are a tie I like both these a lot so I'm being repeat Reba right now so let me just go uh, let me know what you want to see next in the comments until next time Mwah.